this year's Tribeca Film Festival will be screening Burmese Chinese director Midi Zi's film Bing Du, or Ice Poison, a fictional story about a true drug problem in Myanmar. We are here today at the Hilton Fashion District where the director has shared some of the personal experiences that informed the film. Such kind of story is very familiar to me because I was born in Burma, so many people, especially my childhood best friend, when they graduated from junior high school, they have to find work to do, and they can easily, you know, to use drugs. In my hometown, it's quite common. That's why I made this film. Ice Poison tells the story of a Burmese farmer forced to seek an alternative means of survival as a taxi driver, and a woman trying to start fresh after escaping an arranged marriage in China. Facing limited opportunities to make a living, the two team up, resorting to one of the few lucrative enterprises available, selling crystal meth. We call it is a tea for poor people. You know, it's like a coffee, you know, because it's very cheap. They feel sadness in their reality. They are very poor, they no job, you know, so drugs sometimes could help them escape from the reality. Of course, in Burma, drugs are also illegal, but people are easily, you know, to find drugs. Actor Wu Kexi plays the female lead. Although a fictional character, Wu Kexi's performance conveys the real struggle of those ensnared in Myanmar's drug trade. In a way, she is quite strong compared to other women. The outside part of the character, I have to work, I have to practice, but the inside, the emotion part, I think as an actor or as a very emotional <laughs> female, I can, I can feel the same way. There are uh, people like them living in this world, yeah, and there are so many different kinds of stories and, and poor poverty happens every day and tragedy happens every day. In the past few years, a number of films about the drug trade in Southeast Asia have been released. However, Midi Z's artistic vision, coupled with his first-hand experience witnessing friends and countrymen fall into this lifestyle, set Ice Poison apart from the rest. I think he's a very uh, imaginable and creative director, and during the shooting, he's always with a uh, lot of thoughts, especially in Burma, this kind of shooting. Um, any, anybody he talks, anybody we meet could change the plot. Every filmmaker or every artist, they have their own life experience. Different life experience or different background, you know, help them to express or create something different from others. It's individual. It's a personal view of globalization story. So I hope the audience, you know, they could feel what they want from the story. Midizi's next feature film presents a story of love gone sour as two illegal Burmese immigrants pursue a better life. Tentatively entitled Road to Mandalay, it will be filmed in Thailand. For more information from Sinovision English Channel, please visit us online at en.sinovision.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.